as U.S.-Russian relations continue to spiral downwards. Popular commentators decry the lack of expertise on Russia in the United States in a well-argued critique of popular discourse on Russia in the United States. Urshidsky echoes national interest. Washington Post and the New York Times that Russian studies is dying has almost become a trope in the policy-making community the only problem is that Russian studies is thriving, at least in political science, including American politics, comparative politics, international relations, and political theory and it has an acceptance rate of 8% that is. 92% of submissions are rejected. This figure is especially impressive since scholars tend to only send their best work to the APSR for review yet in the last year. Four articles on Russia were published in the APSR and two more are on the way these works are written for an academic audience and can be quite technical. But they do explore core issues in our understanding of Russia in 2016. Ashley Arundelet of the University of Illinois in Milan's Volok of Yale published an award-winning article which showed that rather than being tightly controlled by the Kremlin, election fraud is quite decentralized as governors compete to show their loyalty by inflating vote totals in the April 2017 edition. Timothy Colton from Harvard and Henry Hale from George Washington used survey data from 2008 and 2012 to identify the type of voters who were more likely to defect from the ruling party. United Russia in the same issue. She finds that the middle class is likely to protest against electoral fraud, but not if they work in the state sector in a forthcoming article. Paul Dower, of Genny Finkel. Scott Gelbach and Steve Nafziger take a historical turn using data from Tsarist Russia to study the relationship between protest and representation in a recently accepted article. But these returns are much lower where there is more economic competition. This is far from the first work to point to the value of political connections in Russia. But it is one of the few to measure it so precisely or to find measures to counter it to put this run of articles in perspective. Since 1960, there has never been a period when so many individual articles were published on Russia in the flagship journal in political science in such a short period of time on average over this period. The APSR published about one or two articles per year dedicated to the Soviet Union or Russia.